Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 13th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a better than expected CPI number, creating a pretty substantial gap up in the morning, breaking through some resistance levels in the chart. But unfortunately, the investors out there just took a breath and, and began to worry about uh, banking situations, began to worry about possible recession. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Hey, I just want to say sh thank you for being here. I, I you know, I, I know um, a daily video sometimes probably gets a little bit on the monotonous side, but I, I really do appreciate all the kind support of the channel. We're just about there to 30,000 subscribers. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, we've got another um, interesting day forming up here where we have this uncertainty coming into play. Um, both um, Warren Buffett yesterday came out saying uh, more banking problems are on the horizon. Uh, we're going to see more bank problems. Um, and then we heard from uh, the Federal Reserve saying, hey, due to the banking crisis, we are heading into recession. And that certainly um, dampened spirits yesterday after a better than expected CPI number. Um, so let's take a look at these charts and you can see breaking through that downturn resistance was an important step. But as I mentioned yesterday, we have to make sure once we break through that level, we can actually hold it as support. Now you notice I put this line right here because the good news about yesterday's pullback is that we didn't break that little bit of support in the chart. So we still run that possibility here. If, if the bulls find inspiration here today that we could still hold and maybe even bounce off of that area of the chart and continue in this upside trend here in the diamonds. However, if those bears were to find inspiration today, then I would be looking, I think this is gonna be kind of a critical area. I would look for this um, support area right through here to, to be the battle line. And if we were to fail there, then look for um, us coming back down into this level um, in the chart. If those bulls find that inspiration today and get um, all wound up, well then a retest of that high would seem pretty darn likely. So keep an eye on those levels here in the chart. We remember um, no matter what happens this morning with the PPI number and, and the claims numbers, we will almost instantaneously be switching our focus once those numbers are out and that initial volatility dies off. We'll be switching our focus to the kickoff of second quarter earnings, all of those big bank reports on the horizon, as well as a bunch of economic reports that uh, could be market moving. So um, remember, we might just fall right into that choppy, uncertain um, low volume um, day after we get through some of this morning data. Now, if we take a look at our SPY, SPY also continues to be range bound in here. Now, unfortunately, um, SPY left behind a little bit of a concern here with a bearish engulfing candle. But remember, that only matters if we follow through. So if we were to follow through here to the downside and, and break that trend um, here in the line, well, that's where we start to raise a little bit of concern and we would raise a whole lot more concern if we fail below that price support in the chart. So for now, I'm gonna, going to say, I, I'm probably going to err on the side of suggesting more choppiness, more uncertainty, and likely to stay in this range. But if those bulls find inspiration, we would look for them 
take a shot at retesting that resistance level up here. And if the bears find inspiration, I would look for them to take their opportunity to test support here in this area and potentially that trend in the spy. A lot of, lot of just don't know what's going to happen next um, going around in the market. And Jerome Powell kind of added to that yesterday with his comments about recession. If we take a look at QQQ, our QQQ, well, had a, kind of a rough day. And it was the, it was the uh, index that took the hardest hit yesterday. Um, and as a matter of fact, we pushed down here and, and momentarily we kind of made a new low here in this trading range on the QQQ, bearish engulfing candle. But once again, it really doesn't matter unless we follow through. If we were to push on through and break that support, well, that might raise some eyebrows and add some concern, but you'll notice that that means that we'll still be holding on to this longer term trend. Now you might, if you look at the real short term, you might say, boy, a break of that support would suggest that this shorter term trend has broken and that I think that would be true. But if we can hold in this area, and I really suspect that we're going to see just that choppy hold as we head into that uncertainty of the um, second quarter earnings kickoff. So just watch that closely. If those bulls find inspiration, I'm going to look for a retest up into this area or maybe just into that area there of the chart. And if those bears find inspiration today, We'll see if they have enough energy to break this support and maybe come down in here testing this upside trend. If they were to break both of those today, well, that would certainly raise some concern um, in the market if that were to occur. And then if we um, take a look at our IWM, IWM, uh, again, bearish engulfing candle. This remains the most bearish of um, our indexes out there still underneath our downtrend and notice that bearish engulfing candle comes in at a possible double top or if you um, want to get real technical it's an ever so slight lower high um, in in that price action so it will be important to see if we hold or just kind of rest here today consolidate a little bit if this were to follow through to the downside look for those bears um, if they find inspiration to maybe come on down and test this area um, of the chart, if those bulls find inspiration, well, I would suggest right back up in here is where we would test um, that resistance level in the chart if they find reason to get um, you know wound up and buying. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly, in the VIX, we continue to have the VIX just like shrugging its shoulders like, oh, huh, you know, nothing happened here today. But you know the market is incredibly uncertain right now. And as a matter of fact, um, we know that just because of the record numbers of, of uh, flow into just simple money market um, trades trying to um, protect their capital. Folks are really trying. It's record numbers flowing that direction. So it's not just an oh, shrug your shoulders, oh, hum mo uh, moment. Uh, there is some true uncertainty out there, but it's certainly not showing in the VIX. So here again, if those bulls find inspiration here in the market, I would look for this um, support level in here to break. To the downside and if we find the bears gaining some inspiration well then once again we may be up here testing this level and possibly even breaking through that level if that fear starts to um, ramp up in the market let's take a look at our t2122 now if you guys remember yesterday T2122 was pretty much um, reaching um, that uh, up in that bearish reversal zone. And on that 200 point gap up, we were pretty much pegged right against 100 uh, first thing yesterday morning. And um, as I warned, you know, when we press up into those areas, we want to look for that pullback 
tip of potentially begin, it, it, you know, despite the, the good data. Um, and that's really what we saw. Um, I kind of described T2122 and I wrote <laughs> kind of the headline of the morning blog this morning is um, investors exhaled. And that's really what's happening here. Um, when we're down in these areas, we're, we're, we're breathing in. The market is, it's just that normal movement of the market. We're breathing in and we push uh, to that upside move. Up here, we're just exhaling a little bit. We just, uh, that, that um, we, we've got to, we've got to exhale. We can't just constantly push to the upside. And so all we did was take a little bit of breath yesterday, uh, pulling back. So no damage here in T2122. But again, um, this is that warning that, hey, we could um, um, have that occur um, so you, that you're not surprised chasing stocks into morning opens that gap up in this high area of the market. Now, um, what this means for today is if we find bullish inspiration today, well, we've opened up some space for an upside move to occur. If the bears find inspiration, we know we still have a big opportunity for those bears to push if that inspiration comes up. And I would, I would almost guess that once we get through the morning, um, uh, morning, gyrations of um, speculation around the data points coming out that there's a really good chance that we just spend most of the day in chop um, low volume chop everybody's going to be thinking about friday so keep a close eye on that then if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 whoops t21 oh for pete's sake T2108 is um, the percentage of stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. And you can see we hooked over here just a little bit. If you remember yesterday, I suggested that that possibility we may be moving up in here to test some resistance levels. We didn't quite get, you know, um, as high as I thought we might get in that move but turning over just a little bit again market just exhaling i don't think there's anything bad here um, and notice that we're still just right in here trying to deal with that downtrend in the market and you will also if we continue to pull back keep in mind we've built some price support levels into this chart so uh, 39 uh, forty percent of the stocks holding above their forty-day moving average. I know that's not um, overly exciting for the bulls, but it's not terribly bearish either. So, yeah, I think it is that hurry up and wait um, that we're seeing in these charts. And then T twenty one oh seven, T twenty one oh seven, very much the same where we just kind of pulled back a little bit, rested. We didn't quite make it up here to some of these um, resistance levels that. I thought we might make it to um, um, pulled. But um, we have support levels if those bears um, start to engage 45 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. It's just kind of like uh, we're straddling the fence. We're not sure what comes next. And our momentum um, indicator T2101 continuing to show that um, as we uh, pushing down that our, our momentum here is just dead. Uh, um, there's just not mo much, much momentum here in the market. Volumes have been so light. You can see we reacted to that that upside uh, there we we're just pushing back and we're we're coming back into some support levels in here and maybe we catch that opportunity that we turn this around and start breathing in again on our um, on our momentum so uh, with volume being so low again i'm not suggesting that this is providing all the best data either and then if we take a look at our um, economic calendar for today our economic calendar we certainly have some things to be considering here this morning we're going to be looking at a jobless claims number here before the bell as well as our PPI. Now, jobless claims is, are expecting that those claims um, 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 picked up just a little bit in the consensus. PPI is suggesting that uh, that inflation um, on the producers pulled back a little bit. So um, uh, 
Um, watch those carefully. We've got a natural gas report. We've got some bond auctions, including a 30-year bond auction here later on today. And then we've got the Fed balance sheet um, coming up um, after the bell. I don't think anybody's going to care. Then, like I said, after we get through this data, first thing this morning, everybody's going to be turning their attention right over here. Retail sales, import export prices, industrial production, business inventories, consumer sentiment, and then we're also going to have um, big bank earnings from several of the big banks and United Health Healthcare as well kicking off the second quarter. So all of those data points coming out tomorrow have that potential of moving the market substantially. Um, there's going to be a lot of anticipation for that. There's likely going to be substantial volatility um, kicking up tomorrow. And your guess is as good as mine as to which way that's going to go. So just kind of plan carefully. Make sure you're positioned carefully uh, for the risk of tomorrow morning. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Earnings calendar pretty light here this morning. As you would expect, the day before the second quarter kickoff. But we're going to hear from um, Delta Airlines this morning. Looks like Delta Airlines is trying to kick a little bit higher. Maybe they've already reported. A um, lot of resistance in that chart above. But the good news is we've made our first little higher low in here. So if they can push through that resistance, might be starting to see some improvement there in Delta. Um, we've got Fastenal reporting today. Unfortunately, Fastenal looks like it's going the other direction. Um, lots of resistance here in the chart, but at the same time, we got some support in here. So if that were to push on through and break down, that would be a little bit of a problem for Fastenal. We're going to hear from FRC. Now, FRC, obviously, this is an embattled bank right now. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to their data today, which I... Well, I just can't imagine it's going to be great. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I can't imagine it's going to be great. And then um, we're going to have Progressive Insurance um, also reporting today. This has been in a strong upside trend, looking good, holding support. So watch that carefully here as they report this morning. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. As I mentioned earlier, we're almost at 30,000. We might make that today. Thank you so much to everyone who um, supports the, the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that are setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, there's so much volatility that we have going on in this market. There's And there's tremendous uncertainty in what comes next as far as recession. Let's take a look at the dollar. Now, this is becoming a little bit of a concern for me with the dollar showing so much weakness. You notice that we rallied up in a gap up open left behind an abandoned baby pattern here on that um, against a price resistance level. And then we gapped lower, gapped lower, and we're continuing to show weakness here in the US dollar. If the US dollar continues to weaken, um, that is going to be uh, an interesting thing to uh, be watching when you think about gold. Um, gold, silver, copper, um, commodities as a whole, that means oil, that means gas, that means um, food products, commodities, um, are likely all going to rally. And you can see this morning, we're looking at gold pushing higher here. And you guys know I've been mentioning this. I hold physical gold and um, my goodness, I am happy to be holding it right now. So um, gold looking good. Now, if you want some physical gold and not actually have to hold the gold coins or something like that in your hands, um, take a look at PHYS. PHYS continuing to move in that upside um, uh, a pattern here just showing lots and lots of strength. If you um, prefer silver, oh my goodness, silver is very, very strong here. 
really stretching to the upside as that uncertainty in the market and the weakness of the dollar continues to grow. We've been seeing China running around the world trying to convince countries to um, get off the dollar standard. And if that occurs, um, they continue to dump those dollars back to the U.S. and that weakens the U.S. dollar. And um, the probably the more un, uh, uncertain thing about that is if the world is going to start dumping U.S. dollars, who do we have to sell our debt to? Um, that's going to be a problem maybe in the near future if they really start dumping U.S. dollars. So watch these levels closely. We've also been seeing countries. Um, China has been a massive buyer of gold here recently, buying tons and tons of gold so something is afoot here and we'll want to watch that close um, if you want some physical silver um, PSLV would be a place to go to pick up physical silver instead of the paper silver that you have in SLV also take a look at some of the other metals out there copper as you guys know I've been mentioning this copper has been moving up in this little upside trend it's very controlled at the moment nice little break of the downtrend here it is resting against this resistance level in the chart but watch for that opportunity that this might just pop on through and go here in that chart. Um, SCCO might be um, another place to take a look at copper. As you can see, copper um, or SCCO pushing right up in here into the price resistance of this chart. If that rests against that and pops through or pops through and holds, I would suggest that could be a pretty interesting opportunity um, on that chart. Let's take a look at other commodities in here like oil. Um, if we take a look um, at um, the um, XLE, which is the oil ETF, Spider Select oil ETF, we've been um, consolidating after this big move up here in oil. Now, keep an eye on this. We may still continue to consolidate here a bit on the oil um, stocks. But remember, oil prices have been pushing up and had a pretty good um, up move yesterday. So that will add more pressure to these for that potential upside move. So keep an eye on some of these oil re related stocks. And you can see a lot of those in that bullish, um, those bullish patterns like um, Exxon Mobil, um, uh, Phillips 66, um, um, Conoco. Um, lots of you know downtrend breaks lots of higher lows coming into play on those charts I would keep a close eye on some of these oil related stocks other places that you might want to look we saw some pretty good um, upside moves in um, Disney first thing yesterday and then Disney really faltered by the end of the day and turned back around I was looking at this as a potential long and it popped and then completely reversed yesterday, breaking some support levels in the chart. Um, I think this might be one of those that are as a bit in question right now. Um, if it can hold in this support area right in here and, and gain, gain some traction, well, then maybe we still have that opportunity to move up out of here. But if it were to fail through here and make a lower high, then we've got some problems coming into Disney. And I'm starting to see a little bit of signs of um, some, some wavering here in big tech. Take a look at NVIDIA here. NVIDIA um, struggling here just a little bit. Now, technically, I, I know it's a very small um, uh, pattern here, but you can see that there is a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern showing up here we have a possible lower high and if that were to make a lower low in here that raises some concern on nvidia big tech has been struggling here the last couple of days they haven't really broken down but i think there is reason to be watching those carefully um, um, if they start to slip and move a little bit lower take a look at if you're looking for um, maybe a short trade take a look at win casinos when um, we double topped up here we're putting in this lower high sorry this thing keeps changing colors on me automatically put in this lower high here on um, that chart 
Um, and I would be watching that closely uh, for that potential failure. If this breaks that support, I would say win has some downside coming in it. And you can see that's also a failure up here around that 50 day moving average. So drop down through and even a rally back to test. And we start following a downtrend here on some of those casinos might be something to watch if you're looking for some short trades. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. Um, take care. Have an awesome day. Remember, Friday is going to be a big one. So make sure you're positioning yourself um, to protect your capital heading into tomorrow. Um, and I'll see you all right back here first thing Friday morning. Take care, everyone.